Somaliland Minister of Environment and Climate Change, together with Cheetah Conservation Fund, has commenced a two-day workshop funded by the European Union to educate Somaliland people about countries' ecosystem and indigenous wildlife. In her remarks, Somaliland Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Shukri Ismail Bandare, elaborated about the minister's readiness to provide for everyone to have a clean environment to live in and to maintain and improve Somaliland's environment, as well as the possible way to utilize the natural natural resources and ecosystem. She also talked about the minister's plan to implement the land use policy and coexistence of people and environment and wildlife plan anytime soon. Meanwhile, Dr. Lore Marker, the founder of Cheetah Conservation Fund, talked about the organization's plan and programs to address the concerns for wildlife populations and the human communities that share the landscape. That are working very hard together on um, helping the communities as well as that of the environment and adding on that of the wildlife and the people. And the reason why we are here is that there has been a lot of um, problems with cheetahs in the country, confiscations, and to remind you that the cheetah is one of the world's most endangered species. How the way forward, I think. And so some of this really revolves around uh, the start of how we stop the trade. And that trade does have a lot of aspects around the laws and the legalities, which we've been working with with partners on, as well as that with the parliament. Where are the cheetahs coming from? How are they getting here? And then from that, um, who are, is it that we need to work with? With um, training programs with what we call a Future Farmer of Africa program where we have started our uh, farmer training programs around Gedebli. There are 92 cheetahs sitting at our safe houses now, along with the leopard caracal that have all been caught from the illegal wildlife trade. And have sponsored this workshop is to look at a way to go forward to develop our community-based natural resource management programs. There is much support for us and the work to do together. Meanwhile, the Director General of Ministry, Mohammed Abdullah Dua'ala, who also stated the major topics that will be discussed during the workshop days and expressed optimism it will play a significant role in countries, ecosystem and indigenous wildlife. It's our responsibility to ensure that these significant are protected for future generations and for the sake of our planet. This workshop provides us with a unique opportunity to come together as a community to share our knowledge, expertise, and ideas so that we can best protect and conserve the cheetahs and their habits. Over the next two days, the workshop will bring intense discussions about the best way that the community can take a role in protecting uh, wildlife in general, particularly uh, cheetahs. I hope that we can develop ideas and find sustainable solutions to the challenge facing uh, wildlife in general, particularly uh, cheetahs. However, the Minister of Environment and Climate Change have signed a 30-year deal for CCF to develop the CRCC at their branch in Somaliland in Gedebli.